Okay, these are the images of an IUD. I have a sample of an IUD so that you will have a glimpse of what an IUD looks like. So that you will have an idea how the IUD works inside the body. An IUD is kind of hormonal. Okay, it is known to be a device. So with different shapes, and the woman now will select among the following. For example, this one is the copper T IUD. It will be inserted into the bahay bata or known to be the uterine cavity. Okay? At the side, there is a copper T containing progesterone, responsible for making the sperm weak so that the sperm will not be able to meet the egg. But that particular chemical will only last for one year or two years. After that, there should be a need of replacement. But in the Philippines, the moment you are given an IUD, it will stay there forever up to the time you are menopausal. You need to make a sign, a signature. You will sign the contract that you are not allowed to remove the IUD inside the cervix. Only those people who can remove the IUD are those people who have money because they can go to private doctors. But doctors there in the municipality, etc., do not remove the IUD. That's why it's very difficult to have an IUD inserted there inside the uterine cavity. So let's go now to the next slide, please. So the next slide that is the, the, the IUD inserted in the uterine cavity. So it is moving inside the uterine cavity. That is why there is what we call is there increased bleeding, the third bullet point. Why? Why? Because the lining of the endometrium will be dislodged. It will be irritated because of the copper wire. There is a string, and this string should be visible outside the vagina. Why? So that they will be able to identify if the IUD is in place. If the IUD is not in place, it means it, it will move up and it will what? It will perforate the lining of the endometrium. It will be attached to the liver, to the kidney, etc. Very painful for a woman. Okay? Leukemia. Why leukemia? Because the copper will combine with the blood. You have your pelvic infection. And mostly, you will have now pregnancy resulting to abortion and ectopic pregnancy. Let me demonstrate that. If the baby will grow inside the uterine cavity, the baby will not develop because there is a device inside. So the baby would die and there will be what? Increased bleeding. The mother thought that's a, a, a menstrual bleeding, but it is the baby who is already dying there inside the uterine cavity. This is what we call an IUD with different shapes.